Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are currently working on the Simply Magical landscape version and we are using the 49 and Market Curator's Botanical Paper Collection. So I have a playlist for this album, for this album series, and I will link it up here and down below in the description box. And it'll take you step by step. We'll start with the introduction to the templates and then go from there. The set of templates that we are using is called the Simply Magical Landscape Version, and we are using the Butterfly Background Design. And that set and that set of templates is available in my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. And then there's also an Amazon list specifically for this project. So everything the best that I can, I put in that Amazon list for you guys for reference. If you want to purchase them or if you just want to check it out or if you want to see some options, things like that. So a couple things. First, uh, on the back of the on the back of the uh, what's this called the title sheet the um, cover sheet of the paper collection is a whole bunch of fussy cuts and I did cut these out off camera all of them are cut out I didn't cut the ruler out specifically like this part off camera but I did cut everything else out I just cut it out with my scissors I didn't use any machines or anything like that but I did also want to tell you guys that I said in the beginning that I was gonna try to just use one paper collection and I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I have five fins and there are eight double-sided pages, one of each, and I just don't think I can get it to stretch that far. So I went ahead and opened the second pack. So I went ahead and opened the second paper pack. So now I have two of each design. So I wanted to tell you that and I'm going to put these in the Crafty Companion trays. Let's see. And I'll just put everything where, where you know, where it goes. <laughs> so those can go there and then the florals can go in here. Butterflies in here and the stamps, which I am also gonna be using my printable stamps. The um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Canceled postage stamps. Where do these go? These go in here, I think. And then this one's really big. This one's kind of plain. I'll stick this one in the bottom. And this is too large. I didn't cut it down yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So I'm just going to put it to the side. Actually, I'll put it in this big sleeve here and because it's so tall. I'll just have it right there. Okay, so this is uh, my Crafty Companion trays, and I have a whole Crafty Companion playlist storage system. If you want to check that out, I will link that up here and down below because I use them in every project, and they're pretty cool. So it's something you you um, you build yourself. You don't have to purchase a uh, anything at the store. It's just a set of templates that you you you. You trace and build your own crafty companion, your own storage system. Okay, so then the next thing I want to tell you is I did go ahead and print page page L22, which is the mat for the cover to the landscape set of templates. I printed two of them with the butterfly background design onto 80 pound white cardstock and I just went ahead and matted the inside covers. Uh, it was just bothering me, those two flaps were just bothering me, so I decided to just go ahead and cover them just with that for now. Okay, so I, that's what I did mostly off camera. And then, I have also printed, while well, I've got this out, I've printed <laughs> page L7. So this is, oops, let me move the mat here. So this is the main base page for the landscape album. I wish I could, there we go. 
this is the main base page and I have printed this off 10 times and I printed them with the butterfly background design. So I printed them all onto 80 pound white cardstock. So what I did was for five of them, I cut these three tabs off, right? So I've done that. Actually, I'll do one with you, but I've already prepared four. And then for five of them, I cut these three tabs off. And the only reason I had to do that was because this is a direction. So what I'm gonna do is on each fin, the middle part of the fin is gonna have this, you know, it's gonna have this sandwiched in between interactive elements. So these are gonna be for photos, okay? So each fin is gonna have a set of these. So that's why I um, trimmed them out the way I did. So. Let me get the two that I have. Oops, let me put this back. Let me get the two that I haven't cut out yet. Just so that I can show you really quick. Okay, so for both of them, we're going to cut both long tabs off. And I have saved all of the cutoffs i've got them i've got them here they can be used we can use these we can trace things onto these i have kept them all oops do i have that um oh this was from the mats for the cover i don't know why i kept them separate like that but i didn't yeah that's what i thought okay <laughs> so i'm just going to add these to the pile I did not keep these skinny strips. So this is a Fiskars Precision Heavy Duty Paper Trimmer. I have it linked in my Amazon. It's my favorite. So I will just kind of remind you guys. Let me scoot you in and I'll show you up close. Kind of remind you guys one little tip about this printer. Pay no attention to all the paper dust. You want to line your line, you want to line that up to the metal edge. It is not the same as the plastic edge. There is like one thirty second of a difference between this plastic piece and the metal piece. So when you line it up, just make sure you're lining it up to the metal edge. And at some point you will get to where it's just, it's it's a given you know exactly how far away from this plastic piece that you need to have your paper you can also line it up like this where you can see the top of the line and the bottom of the line and you can line up that metal edge just like that as well okay so we have this piece so i cut that off and then i'm going to flip it around and i'm going to cut this tab off over here that in my garbage bowl and then I'm gonna scooch back out so you can see okay so this one I left the tab on the left side and so this next one I'm gonna leave the tab on the right side but again I'm gonna take and trim off the long tabs This way, no matter what interactive element we put on these fins, they're not going to interact with each other, if that makes any sense. They're going to be kept separately by these photo mat pages, where the, these are meant for photos. We're not going to add any photo mats to it right now, but um, eventually we will. So again, like I said, I'm keeping all of these, like here's the other ones, right? Because you can use these for other elements in your album. Or you can just cut them down and make tags. You can coffee stain them. There's all kinds of things you can do with the scrap paper. As long as you keep them nice and neat, it's a, it's a little bit easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Oops, wrong thing. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. And I'm gonna score both of these. I believe this is an EK Success um, 
stylus. Let's wear both of these on the line here. Ooh. Whale. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to prep this by folding them both ways and burnishing. This is a Teflon bone folder. This is like an ergonomic one. And if you don't have an ergonomic, er ergonomic one, <laughs> you can just use a regular. And I have I kind of been missing this one. Like it's been here, it's been right here, <laughs> but I've been missing it because it. I like I like the way it feels in my hand. I guess if that makes any sense. Okay, so there's that. Next step is we're gonna ink. So I'm gonna take. This is Distress Oxide and Walnut Stain. And we are gonna ink this entire backside because this is what you're gonna see. This is what's gonna be attached to the fan, even though we're probably gonna cover that up, but just in case, you never know. And then we're gonna fold that down and we're gonna ink that that uh, score on both sides. So do that for both. And then you may want to flip it over and just hit your edges from where the paper trimmer uh, cut the paper. Oops. I can already tell this tab here is too big, so I'm going to cut that down just a little bit. sure it needs to be kind of like right there my printer sometimes doesn't suck the paper incorrectly so sometimes I end up with weird little things like that okay so for for all of these you want the printed pattern if you're using a printed pattern you want that facing up and I'm going to use 3 8 inch score tape and we are gonna put the tape, we're just really gonna put it right in the middle. You don't wanna to go too close to the score that we made. Look here, I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab this one. And then you just wanna burnish. Like that. Okay. So now they're ready to be installed. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna separate these two like this. So I'm gonna start on this back fin and I'm gonna take the tape backing off. I've got my garbage bowl here. This is part of my essentials line. This is part of the garbage bowl and the ink stations. I have a whole playlist on how I made these and the templates are available at Etsy shop. I will link those up there and down below. Not the templates, but the playlist. I'll link up here and down below. Okay, so I'm gonna take and turn this sideways. I'm gonna kind of flatten that down a little bit or well, let's see. Actually, I might do it like this. You do whichever way is best for you, or works the easiest for you, because there really is no wrong way. There really isn't. Whatever is the easiest. So I literally just attached that down to the back side of the fin. Back side of the fin. So that was this one. So then I'm gonna take one that the tab is on the right side. Remove that. Oh, I've got my wrong pokey. Huh. How did that get there? I need my cute little fancy pokey. <laughs> okay. All right, so what what we're going to what we're doing here is we're doing pattern to pattern. So, on the other side of that fin, I'm going to lay this actually, let me scooch in. Maybe you'll be able to see it better. Although my 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 um tripod's in the way. 
So I'm going to lay this. This is the fin we just attached to the back side of that fin. And now on this side of the fin, we're going to attach this down. But we're not going to go over the top of that. I mean, we're not going to... Uh, what's the word here? We want to go right over top of the top of this tab. We don't want to go under. That's that's what I was trying to, to find there. The word. <laughs> we're going to lay that down. Check it. And then after you do that... Then you just want to burnish, burnish both of them into place. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to do all the rest of the fins. All right, so see now we have all of this. So every single fin has this in the center, every single one. So let me show you, let me show you some ideas here. First, we could, we could put from the photo mats essentials, you could put two, three by four photo mats on each page. I didn't have two with the photo, you know, I love me my photo corners. You could do two of those. You could do one each of a four by six photo on each page, or you could have it shifted over to the side and you could do some, uh, you could have a journaling spot, or you could have it shifted to this side and you could have a journaling spot there. Um, you could do that. You could do this and then two on this side if you wanted to. Um, and then, what are some other options? So that's all the photo mats essentials. And then also, here's what the Etsy listing looks like. I'll have it linked down below. Every printable that I have will be linked down below. Every printable that I'm using, I'm sorry, not every printable that I have, will be linked down below. And of course, I'll add things as we go. It's not, uh, until the project is finished, it's not gonna be a complete list just yet. Here is the Photo Mats Essentials 2, and here's what that Etsy listing looks like. And both of these are made the same way I made my ephemera holders. So this is actually from the Basically Amazing Add-on Scrap Journal, and I actually made a whole album uh, using this exact method. So I will link that project up here and down below. I get asked about it almost every time I pull it out. So there's always some new people, always new people around wanting to um, learn how to make it. Okay, so here is, these are obviously kind of like a Fulleroid kind of situation. So here's the three by four landscape version Fulleroid. Let's do one that's black. You could do, I wonder, if, no, two won't fit, but one will. You could do one of these and then you could also do, there is a different, there is one page that is like a different, different sizes. You could do that. So you could do those two, or you could do, these are three by threes. You could do two of those on a page. So these are three by three photo mats. You could do, you could do a bunch of the little ones. Where are the little ones? You could do several of the smaller ones. These are two by two. I wonder if three will fit. I don't think three will fit. Oh, three do fit. Look at that. So these are two by two little photo mat squares, which is really cute. This, this might be cute if we had like a pocket down here and then had these attached. That would be so cute. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. That's a good idea. So you feel like if you have a pocket here, that can be matting your pocket, and you could have stuff on the inside. Uh, but this, the inside part here, we're not going to really do anything like that. But on another page, 
you could still add, <laughs> you could still do three photos. Here you could do a big one and a small one. You could do any number of combinations. So that's kind of what these inside pages are for, is to put your photo mats. Okay? All right. So every center of every signature, every fin, you have photo mat space. Now you could, if you wanted to, you can make this entire album this way. You can just keep adding layer after layer after layer for as much photo space as you need. Some pages in the in the set of templates are made just for a four by six photo, so you could add pages uh, for that, just the four by six photo. So I just wanted to have something on every fin before we get started on all the interactive pages. I just wanted to have something to keep the interactive elements from banging into each other uh, in the middle, right? To keep it not as thick in the middle, if that makes sense. Because there's going to be interactive elements on the outsides of these, but on the inside, it won't just get really thick right here, so the pages won't pull apart or anything. So it just makes it just a little bit more sturdy, plus it's extra photo space, right? Okay, all right, you guys, I think that's all we're going to do today. And I just wanted to get kind of something going. I kind of feel better with a page to start with instead of starting from scratch for each fin. I kind of feel better this way. I feel more comfortable where I can just go, well, okay, I'm going to make this element. So I'm going to pick a page to put this element on. I think it would look good here. So let's start here. So I don't have to like, you know, go from beginning to end, front to back. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably jump around on pages quite a bit and uh, that's just kind of how I work. Um, it's really hard to go in order unless I've got a prototype already made where I'm following that I made, you know, where I'm following step by step, but I don't have that in this case and I didn't have it in the last album that we made either. So um, I will jump around quite a bit. Which is another reason why I haven't started on the cover, the front of the cover. I know what I want to do, but I need scraps for that. I need some leftover pieces for some of the elements that I'm going to put on the cover. So that's why I kind of skipped. The, I was going to do the cover first, and I was like, no, wait till you have scraps. <laughs> but anyway, okay. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to share my video with your friends, and make sure you leave a comment, right? Let me know what you think. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and all that. Oh, it's happening again where people are getting unsubscribed. I just don't understand why YouTube finds that a fun thing to do. It's not fun. It's very annoying. Some people are getting unsubscribed again, so you may want to check to see if you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything. So don't forget to check out the description box down below. It's got all kinds of important information. And All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.